script is gonna start. So hi everyone, welcome to my recital. Hello, everyone over there <laughs> and everyone's watching the live. Thank you for being here. So and tonight I'm going to play three pieces from three different composers. I will be introducing all of them before uh, I start to play those pieces. So the first piece I will play is by Mozart. I mean, like, he is the kind of composer we all know so well. So he was, of course, a prodigy, and he died really young. And the thing I think is very special about his music is that he has the purest heart, which is so truly reflected in his music. And tonight, I'm going to play three little pieces composed by him. The first one is a daju written for glass harmonica, which is a type of musical instrument that uses a series of glass bottles in graduated size to produce musical scores. That is an amazing instrument. I encourage all of you to just check it out. And the second one I will play is a minuet. It's a kind of dance. It's a social dance of of French origin for two people, and it's usually in three, four. And I mean, like the most famous minuet is probably Bach's minuet in G, so like. This one. And the last one I'll play is Jig. It's a lively Baroque dance, and it was imported into France in the mid 17th century, and it's danced mostly by nobility on social occasions. So these three pieces have completely different characters and I hope you can enjoy it.
second piece I'm gonna play is composed by Chopin, the po Polish composer. And I'm gonna play the first half of his prelude. And there's something very interesting about his prelude because it's a cycle of all major and minor keys that he included in these 24 pieces. And he actually, when he was written this piece, he had a copy of Bach's The Well-Tempered Clavier, which is also composed um, by all 24 majors and minor keys. And he kind of like reset and uh, reset all keys and recomposed a complete cycle of all the keys and with different ordering. And the prelude is actually has been used to describe a kind of like intro introductory piece. And in Bach, the well-tempered clavier is a pair of one prelude and one fugue. But in this one, there's only preludes and Chopin gave very special and distinct character and emotion to every of his little pieces and he actually redefined the meaning of a prelude. So as I said, he had all 24 keys in this whole cycle of preludes. I will only play the first half of it with the first 12 of these preludes. And without further ado, let's just do it.
Okay, so my third piece, which is also the last piece tonight, is from Ravel. He is a French composer and he's always considered to be one of the impressionist composer, although he publicly speak, spoke against that. And the piece I will be playing is called Le Tomb de Couperin. And this Couperin is actually a French Baroque composer. So this piece is dedicated, it's a kind of like tribute to this great composer before Ravel. And this piece is actually in six movement and it's based on those of a traditional Baroque suite, like for example, Bach's French suite, English suite. And each movement is dedicated to the memory of a friend of the composer who had been died, dead fighting in World War I. And Ravel has also produced an orchestration of this work. Um, and two of the original movements were omitted. And most of these pieces, as I mentioned before, kind of like based on uh, some kind of Baroque prototype of this. For example, the third one I will be playing, which is for Lang, is based on um, Couperin's, uh, one of Couperin's piece. And the last one, which is Toccata, has taken the form of a perpetuum mobile of the reminiscence of Scarlatti. And this one, although written after World War I, is actually a very lighthearted piece. As Ravel said, the dead are sad enough in their eternal silence, but the music still lives. So I hope you can enjoy that. Thank you. 